it's got fringe. Need I say more? Well, hello, my fabulous fiber friend. How are you on this beautiful day? I hope super well. I'm just hopping in real quick today because I have a gorgeous and very easy crochet shawl tutorial for you. We're gonna be learning how to work this beautiful boho shawl. This shawl is flowy and easy and definitely a beginner can do this one. It's sexy, it can be casual or elegant, and however you choose to wear this easy to make wrap, it will look sensational. You can toss this over your shoulders for a little summer night stroll, or if you're headed out on the town, just take it with you. It's great if the AC is ever blasting and it kind of freezes you out. I know I have that problem everywhere. You can just toss this on and be super gorgeous. It also makes a really great beach wrap, so you can just wrap it around your hips and head right on out to the beach. I've got two versions to show you today. This is our original version made in our Resilient Sock Yarn. We no longer carry this color, but I wanted to show you how bouncy and casual this version is. But you can see the Resilient really stretches. It's got nice resiliency, that's why I called it that. And this would be perfect for going to the beach or anything where you just want a nice casual look. And this version is made in a solid color of our beautiful Oasis Camel Silk Fingering Weight Yarn. So this has a nice sheen to it and the drape is really gorgeous. So I would wear this maybe, you know, for an evening out or something where you want a little bit of a touch of class. So you can see just by switching up your yarn, you can get really different looks. So really just make this pattern whatever you would like. I love this pattern so much for several reasons. One, it is a very easy and super easy to memorize. Another reason I really love this pattern is it is great for stash busting. Go ahead and take a dive into your stash, grab some of those odds and ends that you're not sure what to do with and make this pattern. Another thing is it is really fast. It is primarily triple crochets and some chains. So you're absolutely going to blast through this pattern. It's also easy to just stop whenever you like the size, so you don't have to stress about running out of yarn. And finally, it's got fringe. Need I say more? Before we get started, go ahead and have a hop on over to expressionfiberarts.com and download the written version of this pattern. I will also put the direct link in the description for you. To work this pattern, you are gonna to need to hold fingering weight yarn double. Option one is you can create a center pull ball and pull one strand from the inside and one from the outside, which is what I'm gonna be doing today. If you're unsure how to wind a center pull ball, I do have a video showing you how to do that even if you have no equipment, so check the description for that. Another option would be to just wind two separate cakes of yarn and pull one strand from each. I am pulling one strand from the inside of my cake of yarn and one from the outside and you're going to hold your yarn double-stranded throughout your entire project. To form our starting loop, we're going to begin with a chain eight and then slip stitch into that first chain and this will make your beginning loop. We're gonna start with a slip knot and place that onto your hook. And then you're going to begin with a chain eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then to form your starting loop that you're gonna be working in, you're just going to slip stitch into that first chain. And that will close up your little loop. Here's how you work row one. We're gonna go ahead and start with a chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And that does count as your first triple crochet plus a chain one. Then you're gonna work a triple crochet into your big loop. And then you're gonna work a chain one. Then go ahead and do another triple crochet into that big loop. Now we're gonna do a chain three, and this is gonna be the center spine of our shawl. Next up is a triple crochet into the loop again. And you're gonna see how this starts to take shape really quickly and form a triangle. Then a chain one, then another triple crochet into your big loop. 
Then you're going to do another chain one. And then finally, you're going to do another triple crochet into your big loop. Very easy stuff here. And here's what you should have at this point. Let's go ahead and move on to row two. For row number two, we are going to start with a chain four, which counts as your first triple crochet. Then we're going to work three triple crochets into this chain one space here. And this is going to be forming one of the edge borders of our shawl, which you'll see it take shape here in a minute. So one more. Now you're going to work a triple crochet into the next triple crochet. Work a triple crochet into that next chain one space. And you're going to work a triple crochet into that next triple crochet. So now we've reached our center spine of our shawl, which was that chain three. So into that chain three, you're going to work two triple crochets. There's one. and two. Then you're going to do a chain three, which again is the center spine of your shawl. Then into that same chain three space, you're going to work two more triple crochets. There's one. And two. Once you've done that, we're going to walk back down this side of our shawl. So this is one side of our triangle. We're going to walk back down this side. So you're going to work a triple crochet into that next triple crochet. Work a triple crochet into the next chain one space. Go ahead and work a triple crochet into that triple crochet here. All right, now when you come to the end, what you're going to do is work two triple crochets into this final chain one space, which is the top of this chain here on the end. So you can either work just directly into the big loop or into the stitch. It's up to you. I'm just going to work into the big loop today. It'll look about the same in the end. Now you're also going to work two triple crochets into your final triple crochet, which is those first chain fours. And again, you can work into the chain or just into the big loop, whatever you prefer to do. I'm just going to work into the big loop on the end. Now it's important on this row, once you've finished that you count your stitches and make sure that they're symmetrical. So however many stitches you have on this side, you should have on this side. Okay, now we're on to row three. For row three, we're going to start with a chain four. Two, three, and four. And that does count as your first triple crochet. Next up, we're going to work two triple crochets into this very first triple crochet. The one all the way at the end. There's one and two. Now you're going to work one triple crochet in each triple crochet until you reach the center chain three space. So you're just going to walk along working one triple crochet into each stitch. I told you this was a super easy pattern. I definitely think that a beginner can do this one because really if you can work a triple crochet and do some chains, you should be good to go. And it's a really fun pattern too to marl your colors so you don't have to use the same color. Hell, double. You could use different colors and it would create a really fun look. There are just a ton of options with this pattern. 
So you just continue across your row until you get to that center spine. Let me go ahead and work a triple crochet into that final stitch there. All right, when you come to the center, you're going to do two triple crochets into that center chain three space and then a chain three again this is your center and then two triple crochets into that same chain three space there's one and two so here's what you've got so far so now we're going to work one triple crochet into each stitch down the other side of our shawl. And you should be starting to notice the triangle shape taking form. It will maintain that shape as you work along. So it's really hard to run out of yarn on this project. You can just stop whenever you like. It takes away the stress of worrying about running out of yarn. I love those types of patterns. And whatever you did on that first side, just make sure you're repeating it on this side. It is a symmetrical triangle. So just continue repeating one triple crochet in each stitch all the way across your row until you get to the end. Now when you get to your final two triple crochets, you're going to work two triple crochets into each stitch. So there's one, and two, and make sure to go ahead and work into that very edge stitch there. Don't skip that one. Be sure to count your stitches so that you're getting the same number on each side so that your triangle will be symmetrical. Finally, row four. Row number four. We're going to start with a chain five, three, four, five, and this counts as your first triple crochet plus a chain one. We're going to start with one triple crochet and our first triple crochet, so the very edge one there. Then you're going to work a chain one and skip the next triple crochet. So skip this one and work one triple crochet into this next stitch. Then you're going to chain one again and work one triple crochet not into the next one, you're going to skip that one, but into the next one. and chain one and you're going to repeat that across until you get to the center. Skip the next triple crochet and work one triple crochet into the next one. Chain one and you can see we're creating this nice little gappy row here and you'll find that this row does go a little faster than the ones with all of the triple crochets. Chain one, skip Work into the next one, one triple crochet, chain one, make sure you're getting those chain ones in there. All right, we're almost to the center, so when you reach the center, make sure to go ahead and work a triple crochet into the one right next to your center, and chain one. Now when you reach your center, it's going to be a little different this row, you're just going to work one triple crochet chain three and one triple crochet into that center chain three space all right now you're going to chain one and go ahead and make sure that you work a triple crochet into that very next triple crochet. Remember, we're always trying to keep everything really symmetrical on this pattern. 
Then we're just going to repeat across what we just did. So chain one, skip the next stitch, and work one triple crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip the next stitch, and work one triple crochet into the next stitch. And I am going through both legs of the stitches, both loops there at the top, and then just continue repeating that same pattern all the way down that row. Chain one, skip one triple crochet, chain one, skip the next stitch, and work one triple crochet, chain one, skip the next stitch, work another triple crochet, So you just repeat that all the way across your row until you get to the final triple crochet. So when you do, you're going to make sure you work that final chain one and then work a triple crochet, chain one, triple crochet into your final one. So you can go into the top of that chain there or just through that big loop. I normally like to do that because it's a little easier. One triple crochet, chain one, one triple crochet, and that completes that row. Then you're just gonna repeat rows two through four until the shawl is as big as you like. If you like, you can go ahead and cut strips of yarn and apply fringe to the bottom two edges, but that's totally up to you. And there you have it, a simple and easy tutorial for a beautiful boho shawl. I hope you love it so much and I would love to see your version. I hope you enjoy this day. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh, okay. Ugh, I get so nervous. Okay, wait, I'm gonna fix me. Okay. Oregon be elegant. Um, flowy. Oh, I already forgot. And easy. Oh, so go ahead and take a dive into your stash. You know those odds and ends balls you're not sure what to do with? Go ahead and make this pattern with it. Odds and ends balls? <laughs> yes. Okay. We've all got them. Let's, no, I don't, I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> We've got to uh, use them up. And you know all those odds and ends balls that are just lying around and you're not sure? How about sure. don't say odds and ends balls? We have to say balls. Okay. <laughs> so the balls <laughs> you should put all of that in. And finally, it's got fringe. Need I say more? I do need to say more. Yeah. It's got fringe, and there's fringe down this side and the other side. Bye-bye. <laughs>